Barbarians are the big, buff, angry guys of D&D. They are normally quite low intelligence, but they don't all have to be that way. Today we will go over how to make one in 2024, including some good choices for backgrounds and species, and then have a quick look at the abilities that you can look forward to as playing one of these. Finally, we'll look at some magic items that are designed for them. Before we get going though, I'm going to ask if you can drop your favourite barbarian stories in the comments below. I do a daily series with D&D stories, and I would love to take some of your guys' favourite stories and put them into that. <laughs> So obviously the Barbarian's primary ability should be Strength, so make sure you put that as the highest number when you are assigning your scores. The second highest should then be Constitution, to make sure you have a decent pool of HP to burn through in fights. If you need a reminder of how to calculate the scores and how they are assigned, check out my walkthrough on creating characters in 2024. So Strength and Constitution are the top two, but where should your other scores go? Well that's kind of up to you. Dexterity can be useful if you're going purely physical, but maybe boosting up wisdom saving throws or having a good charisma score may be helpful too. The most common dump stat is intelligence, as there's normally a more intelligence based party member to do some of that stuff for you, but you could have a very smart barbarian if you wanted. Now we'll move on to the things that the barbarians get. Their hit dice is a d12 and they are proficient in strength and constitution saving throws as you'd expect. As for the other proficiencies, you can pick any two from animal handling, athletics, intimidation, nature, perception or survival. And they're proficient in all weapons and all armour, except for heavy armour. They can also use shields. Your main choice is then which two of the list of proficiencies. Well my favourite is probably intimidation, as most barbarians are big, strong, scary guys, so it kind of makes sense. Besides that, my second choice would probably be athletics to fully play into the strong angle. However, as always, variety is the spice of life, and having a barbarian who loves animals or is really in touch with nature could be quite fun. The next choice then is background. If you're wanting to focus on strength and constitution again, then there are quite a few that you can choose that let you boost that up. Sailor, guard, and artisan allow you to increase your strength, whereas criminal, charlatan, guide, hermit, merchant, and sage allow an increase in constitution. Farmer or soldier allow you to increase both. All of these also have their own feats, with my favourites being the Criminal's Alert, which gives you better initiative, and the Sailor's Tavern Brawler, which improves your unarmed strike to a d4 plus strength. With background out of the way, we can look at species. Now, the stereotypical species for barbarians are normally humans, goliaths, orcs, but honestly, you can really choose anything. Some even have boosts, such as the Dwarf's Toughness or Goliath's Giant Shape, which work really well with the stuff we've already prioritised. <laughs> So now we have covered the main parts of the Barbarian, we'll move on to their abilities. As always, I'll run through this really quickly, so I don't want to go into the details and have an hour long video. This should give you a flavour of what to expect from playing one of these guys in 2024, and also I've put the equipment on the screen now. So level 1 gives you Raging with resistance and extra damage along with unarmoured defence and a weapon mastery. Level 2 gives you advantage in dex saves and the ability to attack recklessly. Level 3 gives you a new proficiency as well as a subclass feature. Level 4 is your first ability score improvement. Level 5 speeds you up with more movement and an extra attack, whereas level 6 is another subclass level. Level 7 gives you advantage in initiative and allows you to move as you rage, while level 8 lets you increase your ability scores yet again. Level 9 improves your reckless attacks into brutal strikes, giving them more damage and abilities in exchange for the advantage, before level 10 is yet another subclass level. Level 11 allows you to avoid falling to 0 HP if you're raging, and level 12 improves your ability scores again. Level 13 improves your brutal strikes, before level 14 gives you your final subclass feature. Level 15 improves your rage, so it sticks around and gives you your rages back at the start of combat. Level 16 improves your ability scores again, and level 17 dam doubles the damage from your brutal strikes. Level 18 allows you to replace any strength check with your strength score, and level 19 gives you an epic boom. Finally, level 20 gives you a boost of 4 to both strength and constitution, making you the strongest creature alive. So when it comes to magic items, there are quite a few that could be useful for a barbarian. Of course, a cool weapon can be quite fun, and there are lots to choose from, but there is also some other interesting and helpful items. At lower and mid levels, the Amulet of Health or a Belt of Giant Strength could be helpful, as they boost up constitution and strength respectively. They can be especially useful if you are focused on the other ability. Another item that can be useful is an animated shield, which gives you a little bit more AC, which is always helpful for a tank running right into combat. The final item I will mention is a Ring of Free Action, which prevents a Barbarian from getting stopped, which can come up very helpful if you are coming up against an enemy who is trying to paralyze you. So there we have Barbarian. Next week we'll be moving on to Cleric, so be sure you subscribe so you do not miss it. See you then. ta -ra.